Hey everybody, welcome to my video about the new Apple AirPods Pro headphones. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the new AirPods Pro, including the new features, a brief comparison between them and the AirPods 2, and even how to control them. So stay tuned! Earlier today, Apple just released a press release about the new AirPods Pro that you can order now on their website and will be available in-store October 30th. The online rumors were speculating that they would be released soon and be available in multiple colors. Guess the rumors weren't all true. They only come in white. No space gray or matching iPhone colors were released. The biggest difference besides the size and looks is that they are supposed to offer superior sound. AirPods Pro are supposed to deliver superior sound quality with adaptive EQ, which automatically tunes the low and mid frequencies of the music to the shape of an individual's ear, which is supposed to result in a rich, immersive listening experience. They have a built-in custom high dynamic range amplifier that's supposed to produce pure sound that's incredibly clear while also extending battery life. Each AirPod contains a custom high excursion, low distortion speaker driver designed to optimize audio quality and remove background noise. The driver is supposed to provide consistent rich bass down to 20 Hz with detailed mid and high frequency audio. Another big feature of the AirPods Pro is the active noise cancellation, which uses two microphones combined with advanced software to continuously adapt to each individual ear and headphone fit. It's supposed to remove background noise to provide a uniquely customized superior noise cancelling experience that allows a user to focus on what they're listening to. The first microphone is outward facing and detects external sound to analyze environmental noise. AirPods Pro then create an equivalent anti-noise that cancels out background noise before it reaches the listener's ear. A second inward facing microphone listens toward the ear and the AirPods Pro cancel remaining noise detection by the microphone. Noise cancellation continuously adapts the sound signal 200 times per second. Sounds pretty cool. The last big new feature of the AirPods Pro is the customizable fit that forms a seal to help with noise cancellation. Apple says you'll feel your music, not your headphones. This is accomplished through the use of soft, flexible silicone tips that click into place that come in your choice of three sizes. The internally tapered tips conform to your ear shape, keeping AirPods Pro secure. And with vents helping equalize pressure, Apple says you'll feel like there's nothing in your ears. I can see this being both good and bad. I think that if the regular AirPods don't fit your ears well or stay in well, the AirPods Pro would likely be a better choice for those people as it looks like they will have a more secure fit. However, I've personally found in the past that any headphone with changeable tips that fit tightly in your ears to be quite uncomfortable, so I guess we'll see how this works out once they're out. Hopefully they figured out a way to make them more comfortable. One big difference in the AirPods Pro will be how they are controlled. They use what Apple calls a force sensor to control them instead of the simple tap gesture of the existing AirPods. As you can see, the force sensor is in a specific place on the AirPods Pro, which on first glance looks like they won't be as convenient to control. Looks like you almost have to squeeze the AirPods Pro to use the force sensor, or at least hold them like a lollipop briefly. That looks less convenient to me, but I guess we'll see after we try them. Controlling the new AirPods Pro is slightly different with this new force sensor. They have the same hands-free Siri capabilities as the AirPods 2, but in regards to the force sensor controls, you press them once to play, pause, or answer a phone call, press twice to skip forward, press three times to skip back, press and hold to control the active noise cancellation. You can turn active noise cancellation on, off, or engage the transparency mode. This can also be controlled through control center on your iPhone as well. Transparency mode provides you with the option to simultaneously listen to music while still hearing the environment around you, whether that's to hear traffic while out for a run or an important train announcement during the morning commute. Personally, one of the primary benefits to the original AirPods was that I could listen to music and hear my surroundings at the same time. So to keep this benefit on the AirPods Pro, they had to add the transparency mode I would imagine. But I can see how having active noise cancellation would be beneficial for some people, especially if you fly often or use them for critical listening. The AirPods Pro battery is almost on par with the current ones. They are said to have up to 4.5 hours of listening time per charge versus the up to 5 hours on the current ones, and the case has up to 24 hours of charge time, the same as the current case. The AirPods Pro come with a wireless charging case and a USB-C to lightning charging cable. The pairing or setup process is identical to the originals and of course, they are audio sharing compatible on all the newer devices that support that feature. The AirPods Pro are also sweat and water resistant with an IPX4 rating for non-water sports and exercising. The AirPods Pro are available now for pre-order and are supposed to be available in store for October 30th. They cost $249 US. Just before I finish the video, I'd like to take a brief moment to introduce you to the new Tech IRL Patreon campaign. 
Lately I've been trying to find ways to make the channel better, and to figure out ways to do some giveaways, but I keep on hitting the money wall, so I thought I'd try opening a Patreon for the channel to help make the channel better. My goal for the Patreon campaign is to generate enough recurring income to be able to buy better equipment to make videos with, including a decent camera so I can actually try being in some of my videos. I also would love to start doing some cool product reviews where I can run some giveaways every month to give back to the audience, such as buying, reviewing, and then giving away the new AirPods Pro. If you enjoy my videos and would like to help the channel grow, I'd really appreciate your help through Patreon. I've come up with some fun ways to say thanks, including a bi-weekly AMA where you can get to know me a bit better and I can answer your tech questions. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about it. Either way, thanks for those of you that subscribe and watch. I appreciate it as I really enjoy making these videos. Are you excited about the new AirPods Pro? Will you be buying them? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.